Oh, we're just getting started. All right. On with Jank. And so, Jordan Peterson, you're now to the main point on Ukraine. Russia invaded Ukraine because they were worried about how America is too woke. Hmm. No, come on. No, Can anyone I, be that unintelligent to believe that that's true? That Putin was so worried about our moral fiber in America and that it may spread to Ukraine, which might then spread to Russia. And so he thought, I'm going to risk my whole legacy, my military, our entire economy, maybe even getting killed myself when you know people are because oh, no. I'm worried about no. Ketanji Brown Jackson. And, and trans people and woke are you insane? Yes, you think he's, he's insane. That? He's insane. Listen. Right. Okay. Now this is a lot to unravel because, first of all, everyone knows, or not everyone knows. I I'm, I shouldn't say anything like that. Uh, for those who know, they know that uh, this has a lot to do with NATO, which. America is a part of, uh, and and Ukraine extending extending a hand, to, or sorry, NATO extending a hand to Ukraine, you know, or, or an invitation to Ukraine, you know, to come join them, which would then put uh, the whole NATO faction uh, or NATO's territory uh, right on the border of, uh, of Russia, which Russia doesn't want. Uh, in in no way, shape, or form did Jordan say that this was the sole reason that Russia invaded Ukraine. Uh, he, but but is it a part of it? Is the insanity that has been happening for the past seven eight years? You know, in 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 the in the small insanities leading up to that. Uh, culturally, us becoming more and more and more deficient to to where it's it, it's a powder keg is what America is, you know, uh, already more than a cold civil war, uh, bordering just a, a an all out hot civil war that could bleed into every fucking state in this country, including the one I'm in, which is why I'm in it because it's literally physically not attached to the rest of America. One of the reasons why I'm here. But not the sole one. But part of it. So, uh, and, and a question I had was would Putin be doing this right now if Trump never got in office? If that whole clown show had never been allowed to become what it was. Which was pure stupidity. In, in pure ignorance and, and 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 lying to ourselves, by acting like we we look, some of us, a lot of us, by acting like we didn't know what could potentially happen, you know. And, and once again, the rest of the world, or or some of it, or I think a lot of it, is looking at us and, and making decisions based on. The things that we're doing. So, uh, the culture war, which bled into, which bleeds into the, uh, it bleeds into Congress, you know, bleeds into the Senate and, and, and the House, and and, and uh, they use these cultural things even more to manipulate the populace and, and, and to further division. Uh, which then causes all types of things, and and, and, and and these laws and all these things getting passed uh, th that are changing lives in not a great way. You know, uh, is everyone else looking at that and and understanding culturally the cultural significance, and and, and then also maybe not necessarily either not wanting to be a part of it or. or or maybe gravitating towards it in some countries, uh, and all of these different things, plus all of the political things that this affects when they are able to do this in a way to stay in power and then affect change that then affects other countries, like we haven't been doing that all along. Uh, so to say that our culture war 
has not bled into the rest of the world's uh, awareness is a foolish fucking thing to say. It's absolutely foolish. And, and the fact that you would be so adamant, uh, uh, adamantly against it, uh, t- to me, it shows that you're triggered. Which, to me, shows that there is a microcosm, at the very least, of truth in what this person is saying, and you don't want to hear it. But this this logic of what? I don't know. What is he even saying? Is is only, to me, seen in, in the logic of white people. And I'm very sorry to say that again. You know? But, but like... When you think of way you think about how, how how slavery just keeps coming back around, either we are the slaves or we can't even talk about them, which is a different form of slavery, and to do so uh, means detriment to your career because if we can't talk about it, if if, 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 if we can't participate in it, it only puts us in a negative light. If we can't even say certain things, so if anyone says this, white people are saying. If anyone says this, then they are in trouble, which is still them dictating how people should think and, and and talk and act. Is that not still a form of slavery, mental as it may be? 